we all know the importance of tagging our own site, our own features. For example, some things we've looked at already are understanding how many people are clicking on different navigation items. So tagging your, your main navigation, tagging your product thumbnail clicks, tagging search and different interactions with banners and promos that you have on the site. But we also need to consider third parties and third party features that are added to the site. We all have apps and, third and features that are added. Some are probably helping conversion. Some might be a negatively impacting conversion. So tagging these features is just as important as tagging your normal site features and elements. I'm going to go through four or five different examples of common third party features that live on e-commerce sites that you can tag and push this data into analytics, just like you would with any other feature that lives on your site. Let's start with thrive cosmetics. They have a lot of reviews on all of their product pages. So in this example, we have a, a product page that has over 2,800 reviews. And with the Apple reviews, they have attributes that users can filter and click. So if I wanted to filter just for uh, terms with wrinkles or eyes or reviews that talk about allergy, I can simply click on this and it'll filter reviews at the bottom here. This is really, really rich data that a user is ultimately telling Thrive that they're interested in reading reviews about eyes or color, wrinkles, et cetera. But most of this data is not necessarily tracked out of the box. You're not going to see this data in Google Analytics and compare, okay, what attributes are converting great, which attributes are converting poorly, which attributes are users not clicking on at all. Super simple event to create. We have our GA event, Yapo Reviews filter click. Our event category action label are already uh, filled out here. And this is a, a simple click trigger where I'm going to select the area that contains all of our attributes. So we don't need to create a tag for every single individual click. One tag, one trigger, select the entire area. And then we're going to import this into GTM. Just like that. So option number two, or example number two. We have our email modals. So Brevity has a pop-up in the right-hand corner here. When somebody comes to the site, they don't enter their email that they're uh, shown in their initial uh, sign-up email newsletter, and they close it out, and it ultimately collapses in the top left here. So in this case, we're just going to, we want to track how many people are clicking to reopen this, where it triggers this modal. We have our selector that's automatically captured here. Our event, open the modal click, and now we can save. So now this data will be available inside of Google Analytics so Brevity can see how many people are actually reopening this modal and ultimately signing up for email. Example number three, our FOMO. So let's just refresh the page here. So we're gonna see an example here of a FOMO notification that's automatically gonna pop up in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. So I'll just clear out the selector that I pre-selected here. So we see the FOMO, bottom left. This is a very common, growing common feature that we see a lot, but we don't necessarily know how this is impacting conversion. Is it helping or hurting? Are there certain FOMOs that are performing better than others? Uh, we, we wanna start breaking down the segment of FOMOs and their interaction and how they're, they're ultimately leading to the customer's uh, purchase journey. So you can see I simply selected there, and just a pro tip here, uh, if you have this on your site and you try clicking it and like your way you're following here is click escape twice on your keyboard because what will happen in some of these third parties when you click on it, um, it'll take you to another page and a reload and you won't be able to grab the selector. So if you just click escape twice on your keyboard, that'll actually stop anything from reloading in your browser. Again, super simple uh, tag we're creating here. This is going to track all of the FOMO click interactions across the site from all users. And we have our event. It's all created. FOMO click, and we have our event action of click text. So we can capture, again, the uniqueness of the FOMOs and, and start force ranking these to see what's helping or hurting conversion. Now let's look at linear. Hidden in the bottom left-hand corner here, you can see a currency selection. Seeing these grow more and more across the site, but you don't necessarily know how many people are interacting with them. Is it 80% of the users? Is it 0% of the users? If it's 0%, should we remove it? Because it's a, it is a somewhat of a distraction, especially on mobile. So in this case, we're going to do a click trigger again, and we're just going to hover over this, 
click on it, automatically grab the selector. So now we'll actually be able to quantify what percentage of users are actually interacting with our currency uh, conversion tool. So we have our event name, currency selection click. Uh, we, we can actually go one level deeper and start tracking how many people are clicking on different currencies. So we're, what currencies are people selecting the most? And then we can start taking that data, putting into action, either removing, hiding, showcasing more, showcasing less currencies to really provide the best user experience. Lastly, we have a quiz. So this is CoverFX. They have a quiz. There are many third-party tools out there that enable quiz, uh, quiz interactions with either content or products. In this case, we wanna capture this rich data that users are completing as they're going through the quiz process and push this into Google Analytics so we can start ranking and comparing usage and conversion rates for uh, the different answers that users are ultimately giving. So in this example, we have our undertone uh, quiz question. So our selector, Let's just clear this out. I'm gonna capture this entire area. So any click that falls within this area, we're gonna capture, it'll be added to the trigger. So now when a user goes through and clicks on their undertone, we have our event action of, of undertone click and then click text. So now cover effects can actually see what are people clicking on, uh, how is that impacting conversion, et cetera. So there's five examples of looking at some third-party tools how to tag them in seconds, as you can see, with our Chrome extension, push that data into Google Analytics and you can start tracking and quantifying. Or in the Yapo example with Thrive, we can actually really unlock some of those rich data and rich behavior that users are taking on our site and apply that to your conversion optimization or just general website strategy.